With the start of season three, which has already been such an amazing season, we've actually gotten a bunch of items that we can unlock. And two of those are brand new emotes. Now, before we hop into it, guys, if you are having a great summer and are hoping for like an extra month off of school, leave a like on the video, but be fast. But yes, guys, today we're gonna be talking about, of course, the two brand new emotes that we can unlock, but we're also gonna be going over a cool glitch on the map to get into that secret room behind the rocks and even a ton of secrets with the Indiana Jones skin and how to unlock it. But with that being said, guys, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe because I've got some awesome videos planned that you do not want to miss. And also, if you're getting the battle pass for this season, be sure to use my code SIRS. It helps support the channel a ton. And can't forget about this skin on last video. It was the Mandalorian. So here's a ton of people that got that right. And this time, comment down below the name of this skin and I'll leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get that right. All right, guys. Now, starting off the video here, let's get into it with a secret emote because again, we have two emotes to go over on top of the Indiana Jones stuff, but this one is pretty cool and again, really secret. So in order to actually see this one, we need to go into our locker and equip a specific skin. That is this one right here, Mecha Strike Commander from the recent Fortnite crew pack. So if we equip this and then just go into the lobby and go into our emotes, or sorry, scroll over to our locker emotes. There we go. They added a built-in emote at the start of this season, the Heartbreaker emote. So if we go ahead and click on this, you can see Mecha Strike Commander open up that heart area and then fire out like this heart hologram, which is honestly sick. So let's play that again right here just so we can get a good look. So I guess that's what that heart on the inside was for way back when. And hopping into a match quick, here is what it looks like from the player perspective. Again, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Also, you know what? Let me show you a funny glitch with another item, which are these right here, the Thai Squadron Contrail. If we go ahead and equip that and then hop in into specifically a battle lab match. Usually when you glide down with this contrail, as you can see, all of these TIE fighters fly around, which has got to be one of the coolest contrails I've ever seen. But again, there's a glitch with these. So in order to trigger this, all we got to do is go back to the hub area, just like this, and teleport into any of the rifts. As soon as we do that, for some reason, it duplicates the TIE fighters. So now that we have six of them, I don't know why that happens, but yeah, now there's like just so many of them gliding around kind of adds to it. It looks really cool. Oh, and there's a bunch of wolves up there chasing a boar. I'll save you. Oh, wait, no, they already got him. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> now let's take a break from the skins and stuff because obviously we've also still got Indiana Jones to talk about, but I want to show you a myth slash glitch that has to do with that rock secret room on the map. So like for this, we need to go down to Reality Falls. I think it's right around this area underneath the reality tree. So let's head on down there. And I also had to use the Darth Vader skin. I'm already level 100. I'm just the most skilled Fortnite player. That's it. And oh my gosh, this glider is humongous, bro. Why is it so massive? It covers up like half my screen. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyways, the secret area here is right behind this waterfall. So if you go to the reality tree and then follow the water, you can sneak behind here into this area. But it's not like the main secret room that I want to talk about. The main one is right inside of this area and we have a glitch to get inside of it early. But as you can see, these rocks are clearly blocking like a cave. So what is inside of that cave? Like, I think we can even hear some characters moving around inside of there. And if we try to break it, it has this humongous health bar that does not go down. Apparently that has like 5 billion health or something. And everybody across the entirety of Fortnite, the damage they deal to it adds up. But again, I have a glitch to break it early. So in order to do this, we first need to find a cow catcher. Oh my gosh, again, why is this glider so wide? Oh my gosh, there we go, we found some. That was honestly kind of fast, I'm impressed. So now that we have the cow catchers, we need to head back over towards the reality tree. But first we also need to grab a car, like this one right here should be perfect. Grab the car, crash through literally everything. Except the mushroom, okay. <laughs> Apparently those are pretty tough. But yeah, bring the car around all the way over to this area where we can drive up this little incline on the side just barely. Oh, come on. Just a little detour, gotta break this rock. There we go. All right, now we can make it all the way over back to this rubble. Now let's attach the cow catcher to the front of the car, back it up. And then we're gonna boost into those rocks and break them just like that. Let's go. It actually worked. So now we can get inside of this secret room 
way earlier than we're supposed to. Well, it looks like a mining cave, and then there's just a ton of stuff thrown everywhere, and oh my goodness. Yo, what's up? We've got the two henchmen, and then also this guy right here that says, is there an establishment nearby that... No, I didn't get to finish what he said, but I see he's solving a Rubik's Cube, so I don't know why this dude's here as well, but the henchmen from the previous seasons and the previous chapter are finally back. No way, they must have been hiding in here until season three. I am curious what happens if we, like, try to fight this dude, too. Oh, they all get angry. Yo, okay, that did not go according to plan. Chill, chill, chill. All right, we eliminated Shadow Henchman. I do not have very much ammo for this. This might be a problem. All right, we've almost got one more eliminated right there. We eliminated the Trespasser, and now I'm out of ammo. Okay, yeah, we need to grab a little bit more. Final Henchman right here eliminated him, and then every other character got eliminated as well, and they only dropped pistols, so not really worth it, but it's still cool. Then after that, guys, let's hop into the stuff that has to do with Indiana Jones. If we hop into the Battle Pass tab, obviously we have this section right here that shows was Indiana Jones. He just appeared in the Battle Pass menu as well. But if we click on this option, we can see all of the different items that we can unlock here. And even if we scroll down, he's got a bunch of mystery items as well, which we'll talk about here in just a second. But like going over the skin itself, I'll let you in on a little secret. He's got a built-in emote as well. It's specifically called Indy's Dust Off. And as you can see, he just takes his hat off and dusts it off. It's not the craziest emote in the world, but it's pretty cool. And it's really fitting for Indiana Jones. But yeah, that'll be unlocked when you actually unlock the skin because it's built into the skin itself. On top of that, we've obviously also got the Rogue Archaeology wrap. Pretty cool. And then the pickaxes, the dual-wielded Raiders relics. They look pretty cool. I mean, they're nothing too out of the ordinary. And then the back bling right here is hilarious because it's literally got a golden tomato head. But again, on top of that, we've also got all of these mystery items as well, which seem to be... Obviously, one is expected to be a glider because check this out right here. One of the other bonus items that we're going to get is a brand new loading screen, and that is this loading screen, which showcases a bunch of different scenes from the movies, like for the most part. However, if you take a look at the top right, you will see him gliding down with a raft. Yeah, so instead of using it in the water, he's using it to fly. A little bit odd, but that is pretty much 99% confirmed to be the secret item glider that we can unlock. On top of that, if you take a close look, you can see him in multiple different outfits, like referencing different styles that we're going to be able to unlock as well. There's perfect space for them on that second page, so I expect to see that too. On top of that, we've also got already in the files the Indies Escape Spray. Nothing too crazy, but again, it's a cool spray, and it's going to be on this second page, so I thought I'd include it here. Now hopping into it, guys, let's cover a brand new emote that we can unlock, and it's a little bit of a secret as well. So in order to actually get this, we need to go over to a specific website, which is right here, Twitch. Now in order to actually actually get the emote, we need to go up to our settings, go over to the connections tab and make sure we have Epic Games connected. Hey, you can see connected four years ago. Oh my gosh, I've had this account for a while. But yeah, once we have that connected, we can then search Fortnite and we want to find a streamer that has drops enabled. This right here. So let's click on this dude's stream. And again, it says drops enabled right there. And check that out. If we look in the top right, it says get vibrant vibe and emote by watching, well, any streamer with drops enabled play Fortnite. All we've got to do is watch for 30 minutes in order to claim the item, and that ends on June 8th. I'll go ahead and watch 30 minutes here, and I'll just skip ahead for you. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're back after 30 minutes, and check this out right here. It says we are now eligible to get Vibrant Vibe and Emote for Fortnite. So we just gotta click on this, and then it'll bring us to this right here. And there we go, it says claim now. So let's click on that, and I think it redeemed it. Let's go. All right, so now we gotta hop back into Fortnite, and then wait for it to load up. We should get the emote here. Yes, let's go! The Vibrant Vibin' Emote. Oh my gosh, that's actually sick. It has like special lighting effects that start from the ground and fire up into the sky. Okay, yeah, this is honestly one of the coolest dancing emotes I've ever seen. And then real quick, let's see what it looks like in a match. Okay, yeah, this is sick. Let's go, that's awesome. Now, speaking of which, how do we unlock the Indiana Jones skin? Well, let's hop into a match here because the location that is rumored for us to be able to unlock a bunch of this stuff
off is right down here. It's a location that not a ton of people go to, but it's the temple. Yeah, check that out, guys. This is literally the perfect location for Indiana Jones to show up at and for us to complete some challenges because as we know with the previous season with Prowler, we had to complete a bunch of challenges themed around him in order to unlock the skin, his items, all of that stuff. And this location is literally perfect for those challenges, especially since within the trailer, we got to see Indiana Jones literally at this spot on the map. So yeah, whether or not we're going to have to find a secret bit of treasure or something, and somebody is running around here. What's up, buddy? Yeah, no, leave me alone. <laughs> we're exploring for some items. What was I saying again? Yeah, we'll definitely have to find like a treasure around here, like the tomato head treasure, and that'll help us to unlock some of the items. Now, again, we don't know the specific challenges quite yet. As of me recording this video, it says that it is arriving in 31 days which should be on Thursday the 7th. And then again, going back to the menu, it says once you complete five or more quests, you'll be able to unlock the secondary page to get even more items as well. But anyways, guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe as well as turn on notifications for more season three videos coming up super soon. You can also check out some of my previous videos on the screen, such as going over all of the brand new bosses and mythics inside of the new season. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.